Hall Carpenter Archives The Hall Carpenter Archives HCA, founded in 1982, are the largest source for the study of gay activism in Britain, following the publication of the Wolfenden Report in 1957. The archives are named after the authors Marguerite Radcliffe Hall 1880-1943 and Edward Carpenter 1844-1929. They are housed at the London School of Economics at Bishopsgate Library Press Cuttings and in the British Library Sound Archive Oral History Tapes. Projects These projects in partnership with the Lesbian and Gay News Media Archive 1967 and all that to produce a touring exhibition throughout 2007 to raise awareness of gay history and the significance of the 1967 Act. Provide access to previously inaccessible historical material by cataloging archives of the Homosexual Law Reform Society, the Albany Trust, the Campaign for Homosexual Equality, plus the papers of Peter Tatchell and Bob Mellors. Research at the British Library newspaper collection to identify newspaper articles in the British press in the period leading up to the 1967 Sexual Offences Act and beyond. Run a program of outreach work to include illustrated talks on the 1967 and all that project across the London boroughs and to interested community groups. Queer Britain 1953-1988, the gay community and the straight press outreach and cataloging project completed 2005. History of the Archives 1980 the Campaign for Homosexual Equality CHE established the Gay Monitoring and Archive Project GMAP to collect evidence of discrimination and police arrests from all parts of the United Kingdom. It received agency press cuttings and collected other newspaper clippings sent in by its members. GMAP later became separate from CHE, and one of its founders, Julian Meldrum, moved all the papers into his London flat. Its first funding was a grant made to the National Council for Civil Liberties in CCL from the Manpower Services Commission. 1982 Julian, with others, set up a limited company called the Hall Carpenter Memorial Archives Limited and in 1983 registered as a charity. Trustees included Oliver Merrington, Chair of the Archive, and Michael Mason, publisher of Capital Gay. The Albany Trust donated its archives and press cuttings, and the NCCL provided essential meeting and working space in Southwark, with financial assistance from the Lyndhurst Settlement. It also received personal donations from members of the lesbian and gay community. 1984, the archives moved to its first rented office accommodation in Mount Pleasant, London. A major funding bid resulted in a grant of £32,000 from the Greater London Council GLC. Part of this was to set up a media project to monitor television and radio broadcasts, and Lorraine Trenchard and Mark Finch were employed to run this. The archives moved to the new London Lesbian and Gay Centre LLGC in Cowcross Street, Farringdon at that time, the largest lesbian and gay centre in Europe. Early publications included the Gay News Index 1982, declaring an interest a projected catalogue of gay images on television in Britain 1982-83, and AIDS through the media 1984. Work started on indexing the news library of press cuttings, the records of gay organizations, and a pink thesaurus was created by volunteers. 1985, the archives employed Margaret Farnham until 1988 to coordinate a volunteer group for an oral history project. Thirty-five interviews were carried out using new sound recording slash transcribing equipment. The tapes and transcriptions are now in the British Library Sound Archive, part of the British Library. The Oral History Project culminated in two books, Inventing Ourselves and Walking After Midnight Sea References. Around this time, Kenneth Barrow had established the National Lesbian and Gay Survey within HCA. This was a mass observation-style survey engaging the opinions of ordinary lesbians and gay men on various vital or controversial contemporary issues, anthologies from which were later published by Routledge. 1986, the archives' GLC funding terminated, 
and the Lindhurst Settlement helped with funding. 1987 a fundraiser was employed who wrote to around 30 charitable trusts but none replied favorably. It looked unlikely that the London Lesbian and Gay Center would receive funding, and its closure was imminent. The directors made a deliberate choice to try to house the archives in a university, preferably in London. 1988 core collections were moved to the archives at the London School of Economics LSE with the active support of the archivist, Angela Raspin. A number of gay activists, such as Peter Tatchell and John Chesterman, donated personal collections. The HCA at LSE have continued to grow with new accessions and have been extensively sorted and indexed by Sue Dinelli and other professional archivists in her team. 1989, the Hall Carpenter Archives Management Committee was in abeyance. 1991, Oliver Merrington, one of the original directors, took over as the honorary secretary slash treasurer, arranging meetings, dissolving the limited company, issuing occasional newsletters, and drawing up formal agreements with the repositories. He arranged a regular donation of press cuttings from the monthly Gay Times. The press cuttings collection proved much more difficult to house as the Alessi archive had a policy of not taking newspaper cuttings. The collection remained in the LLGC building in Cowcross Street, although the early cuttings relating to the start of the AIDS epidemic were moved to the Terence Higgins Trust. The cuttings then moved to Sigma, an organization conducting sexual research in relation to HIV in Brixton. A professional archivist, Mark Collins, joined the volunteer team and started a re-sort of the cuttings collection, which had not been touched for a decade. With his then-partner Mitchell Anthony Chan arranged their transfer in 1995 to the Greenwich Lesbian and Gay Center in South East London. 1997 Simon Bradford, the librarian of the Cathill campus of Middlesex University, was at this time creating a new collections room for a number of historical archives and offered space to HCA. In February the transfer was arranged, and a formal 10-year loan agreement signed with Middlesex University. Oliver Merrington was appointed honorary research archivist by the university and held weekly volunteer sessions there to organize the cuttings. 1998 on 2 June the collection was opened by a member of Parliament, Evan Harris standing in for Stephen Twigg MP. The photograph collection from Gay News is also at Cat Hill, as well as a growing collection of lapel badges, T-shirts, printed carrier bags, and banners from marches and demonstrations. 2001, the collection at Cat Hill was renamed the Lesbian and Gay News Media Archive Lagna. 2011, Lagna Press Cuttings and Book Collection moves to the Bishopsgate Library. Footnotes and References Key Sources